Hello everyone, it's Robin the Delta Crafter and I want to thank you for joining me for another video on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I use the Rainbow Glimmer Foil with some new plates from the It's My Party collection from Spellbinders. And let's take a look at the products. So here's the, the plate that we're going to be using. It says, have a popping birthday. I'm going to be pairing that hot foil plate with the Color Block Balloons die set also from Spellbinders. This set came out just a little while ago and I'll be sure to link this along with all other products in the description box below. I'm going to use that happy birthday stamp up at the top from this happy birthday set from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm going to be using two glimmer foils. One is called Starburst, that's the gold one at the top. And then the one on the bottom is called Mini Rainbow Stripes. And then I'm also going to be using this bright cardstock stack from scrapbook.com. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and do my hot foiling. And I apologize that my machine is not completely in frame so you can't actually see the lights on the machine, which are important. Um, but I do have another video, a couple of videos on my channel that have uh, a little bit more in-depth tutorial on how to hot foil with the Glimmer machine. So I'll be sure to link those below. Well, what you see me doing here is, first of all, I'm using a piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock in the 80 pound weight. And what I've done is I've put my hot foil plate onto my paper and taped it down with a piece of mint tape to make a little bit of a hinge. So you can see there where I can pull my hot foil plate back and forth and place my glimmer uh, foil up under my hot foil plate. So because this, this uh, glimmer foil has stripes in it, you can choose which direction you want your stripes to go in. They can go up and down, which will be vertical, or they can go side to side, which will be horizontal. I'm going to choose for my stripes to go side to side um, or horizontal. And so I'm going to trim off my piece of hot foil from my roll in order to have just the piece that I need. Now you can see there that the, the hot foil is a little bit larger than it needs to be. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that down a little bit more just so that I don't have a lot of overfoiling on my cardstock um, where it's unnecessary. So now that I've got my sandwich together, I've got my cardstock, my hot foil with the shiny side up, that's super important, and I have my plate. Um, I'm going to place all of this sandwich onto my hot or warmed up a glimmer machine and again I apologize you can't see me I'm pointing to the buttons there or the lights there um, because the light is green meaning that it's ready to use so I'm gonna place down the shim and the spacer pad all of which comes with the glimmer machine and I'm gonna run that until the light blinks that it's ready once that light on the glimmer machine blinks that it's ready then you need to take your entire sandwich you need to undock it and take it over to your um, your die cutting machine. I'm running mine through a Spellbinders Platinum 6 a die cutting machine, which the, um, the Glimmer machine is perfectly sized for. And then you're gonna take your pads off and you're going to remove your paper. You're gonna to wanna to be careful because the, the hot foil plate will be warm at this time. And when you peel back the top of your hot foil, you're going to have a beautifully foiled design there. So I really like the, the decision to have the stripes to go uh, horizontal. That's going to be beautiful on the card. So while I have all my machines out and everything is warmed up and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and make a second image using this Starburst go, uh, Glimmer Foil. One, while I have my machines out, I like to go ahead and like make extras so that when I'm in a pinch for a card, I already have a couple of uh, sentiments and things already cut out or hot foiled in this instance. And then I can easily and quickly put a card together um, that I can use and be and have on hand. So I'm going to do the same process that I did with the first one using my um, warmed up and ready to go glimmer machine placing all this pads and everything on there when it's when it's done run it through my embossing machine and then I'm able to peel back that um, that hot that glimmer foil and reveal a beautiful sentiment 
one of the things that I like uh, that Spellbinders is starting to do now is they're starting to include dies for their hot foil plates. So not only do you get a beautiful hot foil sentiment, but you also get to die cut it um, in the and make it even that much more pretty. Look at how pretty that is. I love how that um, starburst kind of sparkles and glimmers um, more than just your typical uh, glimmer foil. So here's a closer look at our rainbow um, design. And this one, I did a second one that has the um, rainbow design going vertical. So I'm going to use the rainbow hot foiled image that we created. And to co complement that, I'm going to create some rainbow colored balloons. So I'm going to use several pieces of cardstock from this, uh, scrap this cardstock stack from scrapbook.com. And I'm going to just create various different sizes of balloons using the dies from the color block balloon set. In this die set, there are three circles that coordinate with the um, other dies for the balloons. I'm not going to use all those fancy dies. I'm just going to use the solid circles. So you can see here, I've cut out several different shade, uh, colors of cardstock. I've also cut out white cardstock to kind of back my circles and give them a little bit more strength. So I'm just going to match those up with the coordinating sizes of, um, of cardstock with the circles. And I'm going to use some of the Artiste glue from scrapbook.com to attach and adhere all of the circles to each other. So I'm just going to run a light bead of this glue onto the white cardstock and then put the, the colored cardstock on top to build up some dimension. To build our card, I'm going to start with a card base made from Accent Opaque 120 pound weight cardstock. I've also cut down a piece of cardstock with a coordinating die that has a little bit of a um, pierced edge to it. So that's going to be a little bit smaller than our A2 size card. I've gone ahead and popped up the Have a Poppin' Birthday sentiment as well. So that one will have a little bit of dimension with cardstock. Um, and then I'm also going to put some foam tape behind it in just a moment. So we're going to just have a, a handful of just a couple of balloons on the outside. And then we're going to add some balloons to the inside as well. That die set, the color block uh, balloon die set, also comes with a die that cuts little strings. So I went ahead and cut that from some black cardstock and I have those on the side. For the size of balloons that I'm going to have, a couple of strings um, will, be, will suffice because I'm going to cut them down and reuse the other part um, to attach to other balloons. So I kind of position the balloons where I wanted them to be, pick them up with some press and seal. Then I'm using that press and seal as kind of some handles to make sure I get those balloons back in place where, um, where I kind of size them up and where I want them to be. So as I'm peeling back the, the press and seal, I'm holding the balloons in place so that they don't move around. Then using the ultra fine tip on that Artiste glue, I was able to get a small fine bead of glue up under those thin balloon streams. I, I love that Artiste glue and the nozzle that it has um, that, that allows me to do that. Like I said before, I popped up that sentiment using some foam tape and now I've applied that to, to the uh, front panel that we're gonna attach to the front of the card. And I've cut down those balloon strings, but I'm not going to throw those away because I'm going to be able to use those for the inside. You can see there that I went ahead off camera and stamped that happy birthday sentiment from that Pink Fresh Studio um, birthday, happy birthday stamp set. Which is a great stamp set to have on hand for birthday cards, by the way. And now I'm just laying out my balloons in kind of a rainbow arrangement for the inside of the card. And just like we did on the outside, I'm going to use that same piece of press and seal to uh, place it on top of the balloons. Then I'm going to pick those balloons up, apply some of that Artis uh, craft glue, and glue those balloons in place on the inside flap of the card. Liquid glue allows you to uh, have a little bit of wiggle room so you can move things around and get them exactly where you want them before you press them in place like you see me doing here. So I'm going to add a little bit of weight with an acrylic block and that's going to make sure that we have uh, a good adherence with, that, um, with the balloons to the card. 
gonna take those scraps that I had from um, my balloon streamers from the outside of the card and we're gonna add those to the inside of the card for the balloons that are on the inside now you can see some of those streamers are a little bit long so we're just gonna fold our card base back and we're gonna trim off the excess balloon streamers that we don't need once that done again I'm gonna come in with that artiste glue with the ultra fine tip and just put a little bit of glue down to hold those balloon streamers in place and finish off those balloon strings and we're going to place an acrylic block on top of everything just to provide a little bit of weight to make sure everything is um, adhered securely so we're going to close the inside and now it's time to add the panel to the front of our card So I'm just going to add a little bit of tape runner to the back of this panel using my ATG gun. And then we're going to turn it over and adhere it to the front of our card base. And with that, this card is complete. I love how the rainbow hot foil has a moment to shine against the white background of the card base. Let me know if you've ever used a hot foil machine before, and if you haven't, what is keeping you from using it? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. As always, the information for the products that I've used today will be listed and linked below in the description box. You can always find me on Instagram and Facebook at The Delta Crafter, as well as on my website, thedeltacrafter.com. Be sure to check out my other videos on hot foiling as well as my tips and techniques for using the Glimmer hot foil machine. Until next time everyone, enjoy!